guys, it's Tanya, and I'm gonna show you how I made this amazing staff for my Poison Ivy costume. How did I ever get started? I took a trip to my family's cabin, did some pruning, and found the perfect branch. With my slippers and my headphones in tow, I'm preparing the branch to be painted. Yes, I am SMRT, I mean SMART, don't try that at home. And then I was able to paint the branch green. I wanted something that was both beautiful and ferocious, so I found these decorative paper wallflowers from Hobby Lobby. They were like three bucks, and then I spray painted them red. I used the foam backing on one of them to create the thorns for my staff. The thorns were painted green and brown. Next, I scooped out the innards of these half balls with a spoon. Now they're ready to paint. But wait, don't spray yet. Spray paint will melt the styrofoam. I didn't have any other green paint, but had to find something to protect the balls. I found some leftover spray texture that worked like a charm. Then, and only then, was I finally able to paint them green. For the teeth and the tongue, I used Instamorph. It's a moldable plastic when placed in hot water, and you can shape it any way you wish, but it can be a bit tricky to work with. Then I began creating my pet. I used Little Shop of Horrors as my inspiration for this piece. Hot glue was used to put everything into place and I used petals from the other flower to kind of fluff it up just a bit more. I wanted a little piece of flesh hanging from her tooth. A paper towel dipped in latex worked perfectly. Once that was dry, it was time for the fun part. All the different types of blood. Bloody scab, powdered blood, gel blood, zombie blood were all used in this creation. A styrofoam block helped to give it some more support, then some ivy to cover it up, and then finally some big large leaves were glued on the back to complete the look. Ta-da! Now it's time to party! So here is my amazing creation completed with the rest of my costume. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, comment below, hit the like button and subscribe so you know when my next video comes out. Thanks for watching!